welcome back to our channel and today i'm going to read you a book called the sea in a bucket and also i did a simple experiment related to the story step one is evaporation here and the second step is condensation third step is precipitation sure you love it so let's zoom into the video and read this book this is sonu this is sonu's bucket this is the tap that brings the water to fill sonu's bucket these are the pipes that carry the water that trickles through the tap to fill sonu's bucket this is the lake that holds the water that is carried by the pipes and trickles through the tap to fill Sonu's bucket. This is the river that flows to the lake that holds the water that is carried by the pipes and trickles through the tap to fill Sonu's bucket. This is the mountain. Where the river begins, that flows to the lake, that holds the water, that is carried by the pipes, and trickles through the tap to fill Sonu's bucket. These are the clouds that bring the rain to the mountain top, where the river begins, that flows to the lake, that holds the water, that is carried by the pipes. And trickles through the tap to fill Sonu's bucket. This is the sun that heats up the water to form the clouds that bring the rain to the mountain top where the river begins, that flows to the lake that holds the water that is carried by the pipes and trickles through the tap. To fill Sonu's bucket. This is the sea, the deep blue sea, that the sun heats up to form the clouds that bring the rain to the mountain top where the river begins, that flows to the lake, that holds the water, that is carried by the pipes and trickles through the tap. To fill Sonu's bucket. And what happens next? After Sonu's bath, the water seeps into the ground, joins the sea, is heated by the sun, forms into clouds, rains on the mountain, flows as a river, is stored in the lake, is carried by the pipes, pours out of the tap into another bucket. Today we are going to do the water cycle experiment and there are three steps and those three steps is evaporation and the second step is condensation and the third step is precipitation. So Let's see how this all happens in this experiment. I have a question for you all. So, do you think the raindrops, when it falls, it will taste salty or not salty? So, keep on thinking and you'll see the answer in the end of the video. To do this experiment, we need ice cubes glass bowl, some empty cups, and salt, hot water, and a transparent sheet. Let's pretend this is our ocean. So I'm going to add hot water and salt because the ocean water is salty. We had the hot water. And 
next I'm going to add the salt. So now let's place the empty containers to catch the raindrops. To put the transparent wrapper over it. This is our step one. So step one is evaporation. So in evaporation, the liquid turns into gas. So the next step is condensation. So imagine the sky above is very, very cold and it's freezing. So we are going to place ice cubes over this. So condensation happens by turning the gas back into tiny water droplets. Look at the tiny water droplets here, here. These tiny droplets gather together and form clouds. So remember that clouds are formed by tiny water droplets. As I said before, the clouds are made of tiny water droplets. And when the clouds get heavy, the water droplets fall down to the land and that's called precipitation and evaporation, condensation and precipitation happens again and again. That's called the water cycle. So let's see if the water droplets have fallen in the containers. Let's see if the rainwater tastes salty or not. It's not salty. Do you know why? Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's not salty because the sun evaporates just the water, not, not the salt. That's why the water is not salty. I hope you all like this experiment and book reading. So if you love it, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and, and give us a very big thumbs up. And support our channel more and click the bell icon. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. So after Sono takes bath, the water joins the sea. The sun evaporates the water and forms into clouds and the clouds rain on the mountain top and it again comes to the sea and it goes to the river and next it goes to the lake and it goes to the pipes and it goes to a tap and fills Sono's bucket. Bye-bye! Have a nice day!